Hey, Mikey, are you hungry? Do you want anything to eat? Hey, Mikey, want to go to the beach? Hey, Mikey, I'm in the mood for some turtle soup. Why can't we talk to animals? I mean, I know turtles have ears, so he can definitely hear me. Maybe he just can't understand. Or maybe he can understand, or he's just too lazy to answer back. Or maybe he's secretly plotting to strike when my guard is down. <laughs> Join me, Veronica, to find out the truth on Science Mysteries Revealed. This week's nemesis, Evil Plotting Animals. Next time you try to interrogate your pet about his plans for world domination, think about this. Understanding is not the problem. Speaking is. There are plenty of animals that have demonstrated an understanding of part of the human language. Coco the gorilla can understand over 2,000 spoken words. So if intelligent animals like dogs and gorillas can understand what we're saying, why don't they talk back to us? Are they ignoring us? Are they listening but refusing to answer? Are they refusing to answer because they don't want to reveal that they are in fact plotting our destruction? Are they in the midst of a plot to conquer the entire world? Absolutely not. How much are they paying you? Sometimes it seems like animals can talk. Well, at least a little bit. Why am I acting like a monkey, you may ask? Well, it's because they're one of the reasons why the subject of talking animals comes up so frequently. They play like us, they walk like us, they fight like us. Heck, they even kind of look like us. So why don't they talk like us? Are they remaining voiceless until the day that they rise up against us? One day, when they start talking, will Planet of the Apes become a reality for us? And the monkeys take over the world? Some scientists say that part of the problem is that apes don't have the right throats, mouths, or breath control to form speech like we do. But really, the biggest issue is that every living species on the planet, aside from humans, lack the brain function to do more than mimic our sounds. Even vocal learners lack the brain function that would enable them to combine words in different ways to create new meanings. A skill that even toddlers can master. That's me! So I guess I overreacted. Speechless animals aren't out to get us. They just don't have the right body parts or brain power to talk to us. That's certainly a relief. Come in, big guy. <laughs> you know, cats have a real attitude problem. They sleep all day, but when they're not sleeping, they're trying to bug you and meow at you for you to do something for them. What gives?